Okay, so um, we use Moodle a lot in school, so it's our virtual learning environment where teachers um, can share resources, they uh, put information about the unit of work you're doing or the course you're taking if you're in Key Stage 4, Key Stage 5, um, and they always update it with the latest homework so you can always double check there. Um, that also allows them to put a lot more information than you can fit in your um, planners. So you still need to put your homework in your planners so you know there's some homework, but normally you can double check what the homework is on uh, Moodle. Okay, so how do we make sure we've got a very simple shortcut? So you can do this for any website. So if we click on Safari, okay, so you can see I've got lots of tabs open there. Um, not normally a good thing to have open. Okay, so now to go into find uh, the Moodle site, we go Moodle dot British school dot row as you can see there okay that's the actual web address I press go so instead of me having to um, remember the web address so there we go there's Moodle nicely on our iPad screen um, we can press this icon at the top so um, at the top corner there the um, the share button okay so when we click on there it opens this tab up and it allows us to look, do lots of things so if you find a website we can always email it to people so now you've uh, um, set up your email address uh, we can also add uh, to the home screen so that's what we're going to do now we're going to add to the home screen we're going to click that button and it asks us what we want to save it as so yeah I'm going to save it that and then I'm going to press add so now we can see we've got a our Moodle icon there um, saved as if it's an app so whenever we click on it we can go straight onto Moodle and um, it opens it up in Safari for us so so dead easy so that was a very quick tutorial hope you enjoyed it and remember you can do that to any website so there's a uh, some favorite websites that you use for your subjects or you use to catch up on the news or something you can do exactly the same thing simply press share at the top corner and then press add to home screen dead simple. Okay, right, cheerio, and see you in the next tutorial.